Hello and welcome to the SFM music channel. This is my 11th video in the Hitchhiker's Guide to Music series. If this is the first video you're watching and you're a beginner musician, I highly recommend you starting at the beginning of this series. I leave a link here and in the description. This video is going to look at chords in major keys. So, to understand chords, you need to have a basic understanding of scales and intervals. I have covered both topics in other videos and I leave a link here and in the description. There is an enormous amount to talk about in chords. Too many to talk about in one video actually. In this video we're going to talk about a particular type of chord, the triad. The triad, rather predictably, has three notes. There is four types of triads, major, minor, diminished and augmented. When the triad is in its root position, that is to say when the note name of the chord is on the bottom, the three notes are always in thirds. Here is the C major triad. C is on the bottom, so it's in root position. C to E is a major third and E to G is a minor third. Now I'm going to share with you a great tool for working out the triads of any key. Start with the scale of the key you're working in. Let's take D major for example. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. Now, over the root note, D, fill in two thirds within the key. So a third over D is F, the only F that fits in D major is F sharp. Now you have your second note of the triad. Third up from F sharp is A. A naturally fits the key of D major. Now you have the three notes of your triad, easy. Now from these notes, continue the D major scale. F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, and A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A. Now before you, you can see all the triads of D major. So let's talk about them. We talk about chords in relation to their root position in the scale of the key. Bear with me, this is way less complicated than it sounds. So the first chord from the left is the chord of D major. D major is the first note in the D major scale. We call it chord one. The chord with A on the bottom. A is the fifth note in the D major scale. It is chord five. Simple. So it's easy to fill in the rest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you noticed I did some of the chords in higher case Roman numerals and others in lower case. There's a reason for this. The higher case are major chords and the lower case are minor chords and chord seven gets a special symbol because it's a diminished chord. In the major key, the chords will always appear like this, as in chord one will always be major, chord two will always be minor and so on. So major, minor, diminished, what's the difference? So a major chord sounds like this, a minor chord sounds like this, and a diminished chord sounds like this. These chords all share the same root and its thirds and fifths move. A major chord has a root, a major third and a perfect fifth. A minor chord has a root, a minor third and a perfect fifth. A diminished chord has a root, a minor third and a diminished fifth. There is another triad which doesn't appear naturally in the scale. That is the augmented triad. It is the same as the major triad but with an augmented or sharpened fifth. So it has a root, a major third and an augmented fifth. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give us a like and hit the subscribe button below. Thank you. Goodbye.